What's up y'all, it's Mike from Get Locked In. Welcome back to another video. And in this one, I'm gonna be taking you guys through a full upper body ring workout, okay? So typically, when I'm doing calisthenics, I'm on the bar, I'm doing it with my parallettes, or I'm just on the floor trying to do handstands or push-ups. And pretty much, when you have an accessory like the rings, it creates a lot of instability in your workouts, okay? So you see a lot of gymnasts, using the rings and you see how built they are you see how strong they are and it basically translates into different workouts as well so when you have something like the rings it's a great utility to use and I'm gonna be taking you guys through a full upper body workout on how to do that so let's get straight into it all right y'all so the first exercise for this workout is the pull-up okay so pretty much when we're doing the ring pull-ups you want to have it with this grip right and when you're at the bottom you want to keep it at a dead hang Pull up as high as you can, alright? And also, notice how my hands are not moving. I'm not using a neutral grip, or I'm not using a supinated grip. I'm keeping the, my, my hands like this, alright? So dead hang, explode to the pull up. you want to do four sets and when you, you want to do as many reps as you can all right do not limit yourself the way you're gonna see results is by pushing yourself and maxing out every time stay safe while you're doing it obviously but definitely push yourself now let's get to the second exercise now the second exercise for this workout is gonna be dips okay ring dips now this is gonna be a lot challenging if you're just doing you know regular dips the instability on this is definitely gonna push you but the only way to get better at it is to practice it. So, same concept as regular dips. You get up, come down, explode up. So I was right there, I was getting close to failure. That last rep, you see how insta instable, you know, you start feeling at the end. And pretty much you also want to do this for four sets, same concept, push yourself to the max. Now let's get into the third exercise. All right, y'all, so the third exercise for this workout is gonna be rows, okay? And since we're doing it with rings, what you want to do is you want to set the rings at a point where you feel comfortable. So if you set it higher, it's gonna be a little bit easier for you. If you set it lower, it's gonna be a lot more intense. So I have it at a decently low point. So what you wanna do is grab the rings, step back, come forward, place your feet like this, and you just roll. Make sure when you're doing these rows, make sure you really squeeze at the top, all right? You really want to feel that contraction and feel the muscles really coming together to make the workout a lot more intense and difficult so you can see the results that you want to see. Now, let's move into the fourth exercise. All right, y'all. So now we're moving into the fourth exercise and that's going to be ring push-ups, all right? So as you can see, the rings just got a lot lower, all right? So to make it more intense, you want to set it at a low point Pretty much, you're just gonna do a push up, right? So have your feet set up like so, come in like this, come down really at the bottom as low as you can. As you're coming up, you wanna almost bring the rings together, all right? So let's do a few reps of this. All 
Perfect. Like I said, y'all, the way you're gonna really intensify these workouts is focusing on the muscle, having that mind-muscle connection, squeezing at the top, coming as low as you can, and you're really gonna make these workouts a lot harder, all right? So now, let's move into the fifth exercise. All right, y'all, so for the fifth exercise, we're gonna start isolating the muscles. So pretty much, we're gonna work on the tricep, all right? So I like to have the rings at a point where they're kinda a little bit below my waist. And what you do with this exercise, have the rings right here, step back, come down like this, and push, all right? It's really gonna work on the tricep areas. We're gonna do a few reps of these. Man, I swear, this is an exercise that I can only do a few reps of because I haven't really worked on it, you know? And the only way you're gonna get better at an exercise is to practice it. So, you know, I'm in the gym doing these tricep pull downs and the tricep extensions with dumbbells, and I can only do like four or five reps of body weight scope pushers. So, definitely try this out. Now, let's move into the sixth and final exercise. All right, y'all. So, now the final exercise for this ring workout is gonna be bicep curls, all right? And I know you're probably thinking, like, how do you do bicep curls if it's not with, you know, a dumbbell or some sort of weight attached to it? So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to have a supinated grip on the rings. You're going to put your feet like you were doing the row before. And what you're not going to do is you're not going to row, okay? You're not going to do like this. What you want to do is you want to curl. So you're almost bringing your forehead to the rings. We're gonna do a few reps of All right, y'all, so that pretty much concludes the entire ring workout. And I know I wasn't specific on the amount of reps and sets that you have to do for each exercise, but for the final four exercises, what you wanna do is you wanna do three sets, and like I always say, max out, stay safe. But what you wanna do is make sure you're intensifying the workout, make sure you're really feeling that mind-muscle connection, and you're really gonna feel this workout, you're gonna see the benefits and how it translates to you know regular calisthenics, all right? So, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to get locked in, y'all. Peace. Perfect, perfect, perfect.